hello today we will see the topic file access how many ways we can access the files in the operating system so file is nothing but the place where we can store the information and when that information is stored it can be accessed from the computer memory so there are different ways how we can access the uh, that information from computer memory there are two ways sequential access to basic methods for accessing the information is sequential and another method is direct access method in sequential access method this is the uh, information in the file is processed in order one record after one another as the name suggests the information is accessed in the order this is the simplest access method and this is the most common methods for compilers editors where we can we have to access the data in ordered fashion in uh, while accessing the memory uh, in the diagram shown there is a current position so we can rewind the file if we rewind we have to reach to the beginning of the file and if we read or write something then we have to go forward on the right side and after reading or writing that current pointer will be reached to end position now there are some operations in sequential access method a read operation called as read next read the next portion of the file and automatically advances the file pointer similarly for the write operation the write operation name is write next that append to the end of the file and advances to the end of the newly written material another method is direct access method a file is made up of fixed length that allow programs to read and write the record rapidly in no particular order so in sequential method we already seen that we have to send the we have to access the information in ordered fashion so in direct access method there is no particular order that has to be followed it can be accessed in random fashion the direct access method is based on the disk model of a file since disk allows random access to any file block we have already seen in contiguous uh, in memory allocation topics that the disk has the access or the blocks whatever file is stored into the disk that file is stored in the random location that file is stored in the random blocks it should not be at the ordered fashion that we have already seen so direct access method is used that is based on the disk model of a file since disk allows random access to any file block for direct access file file is viewed as a numbered of sequence block or records thus we may read block number 14 then block number 53 then block number 7 there is no restrictions on the order of the file for the direct access method the file operations must be modified to include the block number as a parameter thus we have read n where n is the block number rather than read next and write n rather than write next so here one table is given whatever operations we have to perform on sequential access method and direct access method that is given here in sequential access method reset operation is given that mean we have to rewind here in in the figure we can see that if reset operation is there we have to remind rewind and whenever we rewind our pointer should be set at zero that's why if sequential access method is reset then its direct access method in direct access method cp is equal to 0 read next method in the sequential access read next method is analogous to read cp and cp is equal to cp plus 1 current pointer you have to read and then after reading the pointer should be incremented by 1 in direct access method in sequential access method right next is there and in direct access method we have to first go to the current pointer so write cp and then cp has to be incremented by 1 when we write something so this is the simulation of sequential access on direct access method along with sequential access method and direct access method there are some another method which is called as index method to access the file this index method is very much similar to the index of our book at the back pages so we can build on the top of the best method general involve general involve creation of index for the file keep index in the memory for fast determination of location of data to be operated on just like if we want to quickly find out any topic in the book we have to go at the last index and we can search alphabetically similarly here in the memory also index 
uh, we keep the index in the memory for fast determination or fast searching of location of that particular data if data is too large index in the index index of the index is maintained that means there is one index and in index another index is also there ibm index sequential method that is isam support small master index point to disk block of secondary index file kept stored in the on a defined key virtual memory system operate virtual uh, system operating system provides index and relative file as another example for example here index and relatives file so in left side there is a index file and right side there is a relative file so here index file is divided into two columns first is last name and second is logical record number so last name means what here for example author's index file we have to maintain so last name is smith given here and its logical record number is given in the relative file so whatever record we want to search its logical record is find out which is given in the index file and then it's point to relative file so whatever information of smith we found we want that is searched by index file by logical record number so whenever that index file is searched it will go to directly to the relative file where we have the information about that particular record or about for example smith with large files the index file itself may become too large to be kept in memory one solution is to create an index for the index file when the file is very large the index file itself may be become too large to be kept in the memory to avoid this drawback one solution is what we have to create an index for the index file primary index file would contain pointers to the secondary index file file which would point to the actual data 